I'm David Game. I'm the founder and co-principal of this college, David Game College. I did a maths degree at New College Oxford in the 1960s. And after that, I did a master's in number theory in University College London. And during all that time, I found I had a talent as a teacher. I was teaching a number of private students all over the place. One of these students from the Far East one day said to me, Mr. Game, what about starting a college? And I'd never thought of that, but he said that if you did that, then you'd soon have classes of students and they'd come from all over the world, in his opinion. So having thought about it, and simultaneously finding a building in Lily Road in West Kensington, in 1974 February, exactly 48 years ago, I did indeed start my college. My first student was the only one in the class at the very beginning, Joanna. She actually started with us, her O-levels, in sciences, she's never done science before, and finished up in medicine, and she's still a doctor today in America. So in 1976, we needed bigger premises. We found a five-floor building in West Kensington, 66 Fairholm Road, still in fact our student residence today. A year after that, in 1977, we discovered Old Brompton Road, South Kensington, which is a very iconic area near the museums, very famous and we thought it was worth starting in such a place. So we eventually acquired five buildings in Old Brompton Road, South Kensington, and we stayed there for 18 more years until 1995, our student numbers growing all the time. And in 1995, we realised we needed a more modern building, and we then discovered 69 Notting Hill Gate, which was perfect because it was right next to the station, very modern and very big. So we moved in there in 1995. We stayed there for 22 years. So then in 2016, we decided another move was needed because our student numbers were still growing and we were starting more and more different courses. And we looked around and we made a huge decision to move from the West London area where we'd always been to the city of London. And we then decided on 31 Jury Street, which is a superb Victorian building only five minutes from Allgate and from the Tower of London. This building, 31 Jury Street, is perfect for our purposes. We have developed it and built a large number of facilities. We've got dance floors, we have a gym, we have laboratories in every science, textiles, we have a music department, we now run film studies A-level. We are confident that we can do all the courses we need in this building. We are right here in the centre of the city. And that, I think, is a unique point for our students, to feel they are studying in the historic area of the City of London. My own collection of 2,000 original works of art is covering every corridor and, indeed, every classroom. And as a result of that, students imbibe subconsciously an atmosphere which will benefit them for the rest of their lives. I am very proud to say that I have mounted all my own private collection on the college walls. Next door to us, there is a superb modern student residence. And we are taking on over 100 beds in that residence. And we are actually beginning a full boarding school in September this year, 2022. With the boarding school, we'll be having a mixture of further academic support, classes in literacy and numeracy in the times between the subjects so the students will be subject to actually extra academic help, but also will be, of course, developing many, many clubs and societies and activities. But we're also very conscious of the need for safety, not only risk assessment, but also overseeing and supervision at all times. Parents of students, especially from abroad, are very concerned that they will be in a safe environment. We have a team working on this and we are making sure our students are well looked after at all times. Well, I suppose what makes us different primarily is that we are a school, a college, with a continuing private management, myself as a CEO, from beginning up till now. We are not owned by any large conglomerate. We can do our own thing and follow our own policies. And as a result of that, we've become like a big family. Students feel First of all, I myself and my staff all have an open door policy. Students and their parents can consult at any time. 
We are not afflicted by many layers of management. We like to feel that anybody can approach us at any time and students feel well looked after and well managed. Well, our teachers have continued to be more and more inspiring as each year passes. Students say that some of their teachers here have been the biggest inspirations of their lives. Our teachers are sympathetic and they're also caring about their students. And they've had many years of experience and they also have very good qualifications. Well, one of the best things about running a school for so long is um, the way so many of my former students have been part of our existence. First of all, many have become teachers or worked for the college in many different capacities. One in particular I should mention, because he is now running our foundation course, is Mr. Mansour Kaveh, who I taught personally in 1977, maths A-level in six months, who then got his degree, came back and taught, was head of mathematics for years and years, brilliant, brilliant teacher of maths, and then he set up the University Foundation Programme in 1989, one of the first in UK. He is now my partner in this programme. Our core belief is that no student should be defined by their past. This is the underlying tenet of the whole philosophy at David Game College.